Congratulations, Erling. Was it a really tough game? It was a it was a hard game. You see, now I'm uh, I'm tired, and uh, but next round it feels very good. Ja, also es, es war ein unglaublich schwieriges, schwieriges Spiel und es fühlt sich natürlich wahnsinnig gut an, einfach äh, die nächste Runde erreicht zu haben. Was your first goal, the game changer? Yeah, we knew that uh, we knew that they were gonna come uh, very uh, hard then, uh, but ja, uh, uh, yeah, when we scored the goal, they needed to have uh, uh, two or three, I, I don't remember, but uh, and then we scored and one nil to have time, that was very good, so a nice goal. Ja, absolut. Es war ein sehr, sehr schönes Tor und es war in gewisser Form auch das Tor, das alles verändert hat. Ja, und dann gab es ja diese, diese Wahnsinnssituation mit den beiden Elfmetern. It was a very strange situation with the two penalties. You missed uh, the first one and did it with the second. Could you describe the situation and, and the minutes between? Yeah, it's... Uh, he was too... Uh, he was too far outside and... Uh, if he stood on the line, I would still score on this one. So, uh, and that what happened on the second one. So, uh, yeah, first of all, it was a nice goal before, but then it was penalty and then uh, I missed and then he cheated. So then I uh, took it again and then I scored when he didn't cheat. So yeah, it was exactly the same, but then he stood on the line and, and he didn't stand on the line, so yeah. Ja, also er hat die Situation nochmal ganz cool geschildert. Also zuerst stand der gegnerische Torhüter dann eben vor der Torlinie, dann stand er auf der Torlinie, dann hat er eben verwandelt. Were you nervous? Um, uh, to be honest, I was a little bit on the second one. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, when he was screaming in my face on the, after the first one, I was thinking, oh, it will be the goal. And uh, yeah, that's what happened. So it was nice. Yeah, also er war so ein bisschen nervös vor dem zweiten Elfmeter, aber dann war so ein bisschen angeschlafen, hat es gemacht. What did you say to the goalkeeper? Oh, I don't want to say. I, I don't know what it means, but I said what he said after I missed the first one. So I said the same. Maybe it's karma in this world. I think so after this. Okay, alles klar. Also die beiden sind äh, gleich miteinander. Das ist alles in Ordnung. Thank you very much. You. Zurück zu. Yes, he was the story once again. Not the only story in that game, though. Holland, the difference maker. And Dortmund into the quarterfinals for the first time since 2017 in the Champions League. Owen Hargreaves and Peter Crouch with me. Before we pick apart that, that second half, Peter, we'll go back to the, the first half because Sevilla certainly started the better, better team, putting Dortmund under a lot of pressure. But Holland just needed one chance. Yeah, he didn't have a touch, did he, in the box? It was one touch, one goal. Um, it was a great bit of play from, from Dortmund. As you said, I think Sevilla started the, the game the better side. They looked on the front foot. Um, but Dortmund ramped up the press. I think it was the lady who got the, got the press on here. Uh, and it was a fantastic pass here uh, from the Huda. It was a beautiful pass into Royce. And then it cuts it back for, for Haaland. And as you say, it was a great bit of movement from, from Haaland. I'm not sure where the centre-half's going here. Kunde, and there's no reason for him to go in there. You see Haaland there, just trying to get an angle. Watch him just stop there. That's brilliant. You know, Diego Carlos on his own because Kunde's vacated. But watch this ball. This is the angle from Dahoud. Watch this ball. Schultz plays just into Dahoud. Beautiful little That's pass. That's fabulous. <laughs> really that need so all that. Good. Sets up the goal and it was a great bit of movement. Great, great pick out from Royce, but, uh, you know, one touch, one goal. Great celebration at the end there. Delighted with Royce for that assist. That was his 19th Champions League goal. It all got a bit lively then in the second half, so let's pick it apart. So, Haaland was appealing for a penalty when Jules Kunde was pulling his shirt in the second half. But the ball hadn't gone out of play, so mm. VAR couldn't tell the referee to go and have a look at this initially. Yeah, listen, it, it was confusing, wasn't it? Because it was, there was a minute between this and the next incident, but the ball didn't go out of play. Um, it was a penalty, but obviously they, they, they can't check it until the... The passage of plays ended and then, you know, Haaland's 1v1 in this situation, this was devastating. It really was. Honestly, we were both off our, <laughs> off our chairs. That, for me, is absolutely bullied Fernando there. He just pushed him down and yeah, went, went straight through Fernando I mean, it was, it was there. Similar, it was similar to the, to the goal in the first leg, you know, he just absolutely bullied him. And then he had the presence of mind after he's bullied him to, to, to finish it. And like, we've been denied a great goal there. Fab Honestly, Lindsay, that goal, I didn't think that was foul, but then the referee goes over to the monitor Basically, he looks at the foul, which I think he, he gives... He a, decides a, to rule the goal gives out. Gives that, yeah. yeah. But then they go back to a minute to this initial foul from Kunda on Haaland, where to the tug of the shirt, and ultimately, in the end, he, he gives a penalty. And we're nowhere near clearing this up yet because we still got um, a lot more to go. But you see the, the pull from Kunda on Haaland there. 
happy that that one is a penalty. That and is a penalty, yeah. I mean, I would have rather the, the original goal stood because I didn't think that was... And it was such a special goal. It was goal. a spectacular you, you goal, Lindsay. It, it really was. It was one, one of those types of goals that almost defines a player, you know, with his power and his pace and the dink with his, with his um, weaker foot there. But Kunda gets wrong side, and I think that's an easy decision. We're, we're, we're... We had the end result, you know, if we were just given the goal, we would have just done away with this all this complete farce. About we've had goal. two penalties, you know, we've had to look at two and it was a goal in the first place. So it did feel quite farcical, but I suppose it was the right result in the end. Just getting started at, at 20 years old, that, that's the scary thing about Haaland, isn't it? Yeah, no, it is. I mean, it's, you know, we keep banging on about numbers, but the numbers are scary. I mean, it's, it's, it's 20 goals. He's beat Harry Kane's record for, what, 10, 10 games? At the age of 20, you know, he's knocking over senior inter, you know, international players. Um, he's walking through them like they're not there. He's bagging in every game. It's, uh, it's frightening. Wasn't straightforward, though, the penalty. He steps up to take the penalty and Bono makes a brilliant save and then blocks the follow-up. Yeah, I mean, it was a really good save. To be fair, the goalkeeper mm. played great. Um, I'm not really a big fan of that, you know, that stutter run-up crowd to you, but yeah. obviously the goalkeeper makes a good save. Two good but, saves. But again... <laughs> There's still a lot more to, to come here because you see him just ever so slightly off his line. But they didn't, obviously, they didn't even decide that. You see there, Bonner give a little bit to all the mind Erling games Haaland there. there. But that's where the celebration came from. You know, at first I thought Haaland's celebration was, was a bit naughty. But when you see that, you can understand why, why he's reacted. So there's the retake. He goes the same way, which is quite brave. Yeah, it was. Yeah, the stud run up again. He didn't change anything. Um, yeah, as we said, I saw, I saw that initially and I thought, you know, that's, that's wrong. His severe players were chasing after him for his celebration. But when you see, go back to the, the original penalty, you could see why, you know... You can it, understand it, why he did it, yeah. can you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't mind that from a player. You know, she, there's a bit of fire in him, you know, there's a bit of, bit of feist to him. And uh, yeah, it was, he showed a cool, calm, showed, showed nerves there to, to take the pen. It was, it was nice to see them kiss and make up afterwards. At the end there, it was lovely to see that at the end, but you could understand it. it Paul in commentary, initially we thought it was ungentlemanly, shall we say, and then, and then we saw the reaction from the keeper to the, the original save, and as Peter said, you can see why he was so fired up. Yeah, it just shows you, you really need the right pitchers, obviously. We only saw what Haaland did, and we all said, no, nah, you shouldn't really do that. Um, but obviously the goalkeepers was, was much worse. You can understand as a player, you, if you give it, you got to take it. And the goalkeeper gave it in the wrong moment and he, and he got his payback. And that was his 20th Champions League goal as well in 14 games. Harry Kane got to 20 in 24 games. That, that was the record. He just keeps breaking these records week in, week out. Yeah, he will, yeah. And he'll continue to do so. Um, the problem is for, for Dortmund is um, they're sixth in the in the league at the moment. You know, if there's no qualification for next year's Champions League, I mean, he, these records are getting smashed in the Champions League and he's not going to want a year off. Where does his future lie, Owen, do you think? Well, everybody's going to have to get in line. Whoever, get the checkbook out, because honestly, he's 20 years level, as Crouchy said, so he makes every team better. You think about Barcelona, need a centre forward, Real Madrid could probably do with a, somebody maybe to replace Benzema. You know, the, the, everybody in the Premier League would be desperate to have him, so... Fabulous player, and he's only going to get better. The drama, though, Peter wasn't done there. Sevilla kept pushing, didn't they? Luke Gion came on and, and was causing problems straight away. Yeah, he certainly did um, cause trouble. I know you're a big fan, being a Newcastle fan. <laughs> <laughs> you have to fan get that in. Um, but yeah, he did, listen, he did, he did, he did cause trouble. Um, you know, there was penalty shouts. Uh, I think, um, I think this one was a penalty. I don't, I'm not sure what Emre Chan was doing there. It was, uh, it was, it was a clear penalty, and it was, a, it was, it was a lovely, well taken penalty. It was then Naziri with his 18th of the season. Did you think it was a bit soft or in the penalty there? No, I think when you push somebody like that, it makes it easy. But um, El Naziri, to be fair, he showed up. You know, in a couple of crucial moments, he had a, yeah, quite a good game. But towards the end, they started firing loads of crossing. You won't get a better one than this from Rakitic. That is absolutely unbelievable. And there's almost like a Peter Couch header from El <laughs> I don't feel I've ever headed Not it. Not that, that good. <laughs> What's a header, honestly? Everything. Luke de Jong style, wasn't it? The ball, the header, everything was good, wasn't it? Oh, it was a beautiful header, absolutely beautiful. And then it, it set them up for a, for a nervy finish then. You know, they, they, they did look nervous towards the end Dortmund and you, you felt that there was another sting in the tail. And there nearly was as well, because they kept pushing and Lopetegui really wanted a penalty at, at the death there. Oh, and what did you think of that? Well, as he would, but to be fair, they had so many chances there. Rakitic again puts in a, in, in a great ball there and they just got to take a shot but uh, you see the ball goes wide and they get across and, and it's just 
It's Mats Hummels. You see it on the other angle on, on Munir. He just gets his arm across him. See in the middle of the picture there, soft. I think that would be really soft. I think he's looking at the ball. He, he's not really looking yeah. at Munir. You see what the Pategi thinks, but I, I think that would have been soft. Mm. The temper's running running high at the end. You could you could hear it, but uh, I think it would have been harsh to give it. Well, Dortmund then through to the quarterfinals. The other game has gone to extra time. That's three all at the moment. Juventus 2-1 up on the night against Porto, but in extra time that one. And don't forget the European action continues tomorrow as well, starting at 12.15. It's the Women's Champions League last 16 between Atletico and Chelsea. The Blues lead 2-0 after the first leg. Then at seven, it's back to the men. Liverpool, two goals to the good. They're up against Leipzig in the second leg on that one. And from 7.30, you can also see the second leg between PSG and Barcelona. PSG 4-1 up <laughs> in that one.